the starter's removed, the main course emerges. And when I'm asked what I do for a living, our host's reaction verges on the incredulous. Half-digested food that's been fed to us spittoons from his lips, and he leans in, snarls and quips. A teacher, eh? Wouldn't catch me wasting my time with today's youth. Just a bunch of grubby little shits. <laughs> the wolves laugh around me. They applaud the wit that he just fired. His wife smooths my arm like it was tablecloth. She purrs. No wonder he looks so tired. <laughs> the room erupts again, and I laugh too, because she's right. I am pretty tired. I'm tired from days spent saying, tuck in that shirt. From getting kids into lines, making girls unroll their skirts. I'm tired of setting tests to the grumbling, the complaining. Exams get me stressed, giving detentions can be draining. And who'd have guessed it'd be so tiring, making lessons entertaining? The kids don't care because someone's farted or had a nosebleed or it's just started raining. I'm tired of working with artists, with athletes, with dancers. I'm tired of asking questions till I realise maybe I don't know all the answers. And then I'm tired from watching the sparks that fly behind young eyes. The heroes born in the classroom, the self-worth they realise. And then those other kids, the ones where you have to tie on a line, dive deep inside, rescue the shreds of confidence that another adult rusted up inside. I'm tired of scrabbling at those locks, dredging back those pearls, then saying, well done, I'll see you next week and back out into the world. Tired of working with young people who invest in their community, who aren't happy accepting our banal shirts leave mediocrity. And while the efforts of the majority sink to the back of the local paper, that one kid with a blade who hates the world because nobody taught him better gets plastered on page one. So when I am tired, when all our hard work is done, I get to stand on duty, watch those grown-ups' fearful looks directed at my young minds laughing as they travel home with their books, but... But look, mostly right now I'm tired because yesterday in class, we were discussing poverty in Uganda. And throughout it, my students were irate, raw with anger. They just couldn't understand the fact that young people die of starvation in our world by the score. I and mean, when one girl asked me, sir, how can this happen? How can you adults let the poor stay poor? It just got me thinking all night about what I once stood for. So yeah, you may all be successful. This meal may well be Michelin, but I'd swap the swine around me now for a dozen kids on Ritalin, because those grubby little shits won't learn your layers of indifference. And yeah, I am tired. I'm exhausted. But teaching's what I do. I feed others before I feed myself, so that, fingers crossed, I never become as overfed as you. Welcome to the behind the scenes. <laughs> so there we go. Thank you for watching A Teacher A. Don't forget to subscribe to Griston Larson. Uh, we're a poet and filmmaker. Loads of spoken word films over on our YouTube channel. Yeah, please do think about subscribing. It would really help us out. If you want to find out more about this project, all you have to do is click the box we're standing in right now. You'll go straight over to a behind the scenes video that will show you how many sleepless nights we really did have trying to put the whole thing together. Thank you for watching our short film. Thank, Thank you. you.